So what we're going to do here, uh, just to show you guys, uh, we've of course got the standard American side, and over here we have the American uniform. But if we jump over to the British side over here, we have something entirely different in Afghanistan 11 Royal Marines. In fact, we have an entirely different campaign over here uh, based on operations that the UK did. And what we're going to be doing today is a skirmish game. Now, this is actually my first time jumping in here to the game. I just recently got the key, and I'm really curious to see how it goes. I'm going to keep the actual game sort of how I do it anyway, uh, just everything pretty much in the middle, and we are going to get started, guys. Randomized world here. We might get a terrible setup, but we're going to find out pretty soon. Okay, so standard 60-turn uh, limit here. Looks like the current president of Afghanistan is Walid Abd. Um, and he's got social reform, so we get some intel from villages and some intelligence. However, it looks like security and corruption is very bad right here in this particular region. So we want to be as careful as possible um, while we move through. Also, since I'm not familiar with these units, I want to be extra careful. Now, I think the Panama uh, can detect and defuse IEDs. We see that right here, a little explanation of what it does. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase a Panama. It's been a while since I played, like I said. So I want to go ahead and relearn how to kind of get around let's take a look and it looks like there's a village right there i think we want to go take a look here so let's jump up to this uh afghan village and look at that we even got new voice actors there roger that i love it um really cool stuff doesn't look like we've got any anything there but we're gonna get our first group here of royal marines so let's go ahead and pick them up and we've also got sas units of course uh, for those of you that don't know those are um, British Black Berets, essentially British Special Forces units. Um, we've also got a Westland Lynx here. And this has to be some sort of tra transport plane. I think the Warthog has got to be what moves us around, right? I would think so. Um, I guess we'll find out. So let's go ahead and get a Warthog here. We eventually have to find out specifically which of our vehicles uh, is responsible for building new things. So let's see. We're going to load a unit onto the Warthog. Very nice. And let's leave the Warthog here and see if we can't drop this unit or at least get fairly close to this village so that we can begin um, our mission here. And look at that. We got a little convoy going. Or is that a convoy? No, that's just the Warthog. Looks like it's some um, sort of two vehicles uh, connected to one another. I like that. All right, let's take a look. So the Terrier is definitely what we need to go ahead and construct our forward operating bases. We usually also get a howitzer at this point um, to defend the area, at least when we're playing with the Americans. But since we're playing as the British this time, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. We'll get another Royal Marine unit. I'd love to get an Apache, but I don't think it's the right thing to do right now. This is interesting. Destroy detected enemy transport infantry. Jackal. It looks like maybe just an upgraded version of the Warthog. Uh, let's go ahead and get another Warthog here. And we'll get a supply truck. Actually, two supply trucks as well, so that we can eventually start winning some hearts and minds here. I'm also going to load another Royal Marine unit here. And I loaded it onto the supply truck. That was not intentional. Uh, let's hope that there are no bombs on this road to the north. Oh! That's why you don't send out units uh, when you haven't mined the area, or demined the area. So we just lost our first unit in quite a silly way. These are the kind of mistakes you don't want to make when playing this game. So I'm going to go ahead and take this Panama and send him out to check this road. Chances are there are more IEDs on this road. Now the sad thing is if he was in the Warthog, he probably would have withstood that blast just fine. Uh, but since we had him in the supply truck, he did not withstand the blast at all. We're going to send this infantry unit to the east. And as a matter of fact, I just want to take a quick look at the map here and see where I want to build um, our FOB. I think I want to build it somewhere here to the south. So we might have to bring those vehicles back and keep on checking on the situation. Uh, we still have quite a lot of points to spend. But I feel like three Panamas is a bit much. What do you guys think? Maybe just a bit much. Let's get some SAS units. Uh, let's get a Chinook would be a transport chopper. What about the Westland Lynx? I'm going to get one of these Westland Lynx choppers. This can pretty much move our units wherever we need them. Um, and eventually we're going to want to move our UK SAS to another location pretty far away. For now, however, I'm just going to train that Anna Howitzer. It's my main concern. And let's pick up the Royal Marines here in the chopper. 
you get to go on a bit of uh, an adventure. Not necessarily an adventure any of us would want to go to, but or go through. But this is what they're they're gonna have to deal with. So I'm gonna actually drop them off near this village. Let's hope we don't take any fire. But we absolutely need to map out this area and make absolutely sure there are no enemies, guys. Boom. Nice. All right, we found a minefield over here, and it's actually in a perfect location. Crossing a river there, right on that bridge, that land bridge. Uh, that's a pretty good area to have an IED. Let's see if we can go ahead and actually sweep the area for any IEDs. And it seems to be pretty clear. So we want to try and get help to this area if possible, but obviously it's going to take a little while. Okay, guys. Back to our turn here. Alright folks, so we're going to go ahead and keep on clearing here. We want to get units to that village to see what we can do. So I'm going to go ahead and just drive by and we'll eventually bring that vehicle here, although we're probably going to need to do something uh, to get some supplies to it. So let me actually send the Warthog here. Looks a lot different from the American MRAP. And we'll send these units in. Charlie Company. Uncooperative, nothing here. And we could actually start bringing supplies to this village right now if we'd like. But before we decide specifically what village we're going to favor, uh, maybe we'll wait just a little bit. Copy that. I'm going to go ahead and send this Panama south to look for mines. And in the meantime, we will drop off these Royal Marines right there in the village. Maybe they can give us some information. And sure enough, we spotted our first militia infantry unit. We're going to go ahead and bring in the airstrike here and see if we can't get a nice hit. All right, they dispersed, which means we did not get a hit on them. Not what we want, boys and girls. Uh, that's, that's definitely not what we want. What we will try to do is pick up this infantry unit and bring them elsewhere, preferably over here in this village. I'm really tempted to get an Apache, but I kind of know better. Um, getting an Apache would allow us guys to uh, basically attack units using a helicopter. But what I think we're going to do instead is start actually building some wells um, for some of these Afghan villages. Of course, if we can get them on our side, uh, that's going to help tremendously. And don't forget about the new upgrade with this DLC where we get the police unit if we can get them up to 70. So if, they, if we can get that trust up to 70, they will absolutely um, create an Afghan police unit, which should be extremely helpful. And which also, during the transitionary period, when our UK units go away, should be able to help control the situation out here. I've still got that beautiful supply truck. I'm going to actually go ahead and collect you in aid and send the supply truck immediately to this village before they mine it. Get a few more Royal Marines. And you know what? I am going to splurge on that Apache. I know it seems a little crazy. Get another Warthog too. Here we go. So I like that. We actually get a little... Um, if you guys are seeing sort of the convoy... Um, it shows us essentially where the convoy is going. I don't recall this happening before in the game, so I like that. It kind of gives us an idea. And it looks like right now these are civilian vehicles. I understand. Wow. This is awesome, guys. So this has got to be where we start building the roadblocks, I believe. Um, let's see. Join a convoy. Return to headquarters. No, that's not what we want to do. So we need to take a look here at the roadblock potential. I'm not sure if we can get this unit back in time to do anything regarding a roadblock. Let's take a look over here. So the US MRAP, UK Jackal, and the Afghan police units can set up roadblocks. So we've got to find the Jackal here. Okay, 550. Quite expensive. Let's get him, though. Um, this is the first time we've ever done a roadblock in this game, guys, so I'm kind of excited. 
Uh, it looks like we might have to pick up a uh, unit, so I'm going to load up a Royal Marine unit. And we should put them, I guess, right here. Moving out. Make sense? And put a roadblock right here. Roger that. Okay. Oh, I like that. All right, guys, so we've got a real roadblock set up. Uh, we don't have a roadblock, though, over here for this village. So I hope that's sufficient. Uh, I'm going to drop off some UN supplies over here. Hopefully people will hear about our goodwill. And I'm also going to try to build a water tower over here if we've got enough money for it. I'm not sure if we do. Nice. It's going to bring in a lot of hearts and minds, although they're going to be negative for a time. So we want to be careful. It's actually not the greatest idea we've had. Uh, let's see if we can maybe knock off some IEDs. Nope. Head back to base. I really am tempted to see uh, what happens here with uh, with our roadblock. It's going to be pretty interesting. Roger. It's probably time to refuel uh, this baby pretty soon anyway, so we're going to go ahead and move back to base. But that lack of parts and lines is troubling, to say the least. Let's just hope that we get a few terrorists here with our roadblock. Ooh, look at that. A hit there. Interesting. I haven't seen that before. So some sort of attack there. Um, I'm not sure if we stopped an IED or, or what happened. Interesting nonetheless. We may, have lost, we may have lost a squad up there. Uh, that could be the issue. And maybe ha setting up another roadblock is something quite important right now. But it's going to be tough. Uh, we're low on points. I'm not sure how we're going to manage to set up another roadblock. Uh, unless we actually engage some Taliban. I think we're going to need to engage Taliban to get some, to get some points. Uh, otherwise, we're just not going to have enough uh, to get a victory here. Let's see what else we can do. Okay. Try to knock out some IEDs if we can. There's one, but I don't know if we can knock out enough to, uh, to get us back to uh, not being totally poor in the game. Let's go. No, man. Not a lot of IEDs in this area at all. What we actually need to do now is find an opium poppy or an opium crop. Uh, if we burn that down, we get a thousand hearts and minds, uh, which is pretty important, as you can imagine. Okay, we're going to end the turn. on moving with our terrier and we'll actually send this jackal back to base uh, to pick up another unit if possible and maybe set up another roadblock okay so hearts and minds have increased that's got to be due to the roadblock uh, and what we can do here is send some units back to make a little bit of money so I'm going to send this Apache back, guys. I love him, but if we just send him back, we're going to be, you know, we're going to get out of the red zone, and I think that's important. So I'm actually going to pick up another unit with the Jackal here. I like the roadblock idea, and I want to totally defend the front of the base. So I'm going to bring this Jackal down this way, and we're going to set up another one right here, hopefully. Yes, right there on the bridge. If any enemies uh, come through with uh, weapons or anything like that, we should be able to spot them right away. Let's get this Warthog back to base, uh, make sure that the guys inside are doing fine. And I'm also going to pull out the Westland Lynx to pick up another unit, another Royal Marines unit. And let's check on our favorite village. Actually, no, the village is doing fine. We have to look for a village that's actually asking for help. Uh, maybe not. Let's head into this really dangerous area. <laughs> That's a good idea. Head into the most dangerous area on the map and uh, see what we find. Copy that. We're on the move. Village uncooperative. Alright, no IEDs here, but the village is definitely uncooperative. They don't want, really want anything to do with us. Alright, let's send the Jackal back to base.
And unfortunately, this uh, Panama is pretty much run out of movement points or will run out of movement points very soon. So we're going to have to uh, refuel her, uh, maybe with just a supply truck. But, you know, we could use other methods to refuel. All right, let's end the turn. Oh, that's right. We forgot to drop those boys off. They're going to need some refueling as well. definitely going to bring them back. Uh, also because we want to build that base somewhere over here. But I like this new traffic system. Very, very interesting. All right, so that's our Panama. He's almost certainly going to need an emergency supply drop. Oh, wow. So the enemy actually ambushed us. Unbelievable. Um, they did do some damage to the Panama because of that ambush. I'm not even sure if we managed to take out that IED or not. See if we can get any more units ready to go. Yeah, I think we should. Let's get this Warthog. Uh, let's get some Royal Marines in this Warthog and head out. We're going to try to go to this village down here to the southeast. Okay. Convoy's working, guys. Look at that. Um, report from Afghanistan. New supply trucks have arrived at HQ. Amid a wave of violence in Afghanistan, U.S. Minister of Defense has approved requests for additional armored vehicles. Beautiful. So that seems to be working. And once again, another attack here. I guess these uh, represent basically IED attacks. And it looks like right there, our convoy uh, stopped something. Um, 400 points that we actually got through that, that stoppage. So we must have stopped some sort of vehicle, uh, something like that. In the meantime, we got to get this Panama back to refuel them. But these convoys are pretty neat. And let's see if we can get the supply truck back as well without getting blown up. Pretty tough request. But he seems to have made it back all right. We could even probably pick up some um, Royal Marines here. Might not be able to drop them off this turn, but fairly soon. What I'm kind of annoyed by is that we haven't found any poppy fields yet. Uh, usually, these Afghans are growing poppies as, of course, their, their premium crop. Um, and finding them would definitely help us make some, some quick cash. Put it that way. All right, we're going to have to come back to refuel with this vehicle. And I am going to drop emergency supplies some emergency supplies here. Not sure it's going to save the, the actual vehicle itself, but it's worth a shot, I think. Moving out. And eventually we want to get that special forces unit either building a base or working in a base... Um, or just put them in the, put them in the mountains uh, hunting for Taliban units. And that last one's probably going to be more than likely what we're going to do. Like a lot of coin games, and for those of you that don't know what coin stands for, that's counterinsurgency games. Um, you know, the enemy is always elusive like this. It, it's always tough to kind of locate them. And I think that's just very realistic to the conflict itself. Once again, this village has turned almost completely to the Taliban. That red flag actually represents the militias, not the Taliban. Once it gets to 40, it becomes uh, pro-Taliban. But still, the militias are, as you could imagine, not big fans of the U.S. or the U.K. I'm going to send that guy there next turn. And that guy will go there next turn. We need to get another unit to head out there. And probably you need to get that guy in the chopper to go to this village. Let's uh, get that Panama. Although he's almost out of fuel. So we're actually going to leave the Panama for now. Okay, things seem to be fairly calm. Water tower still there. Oh! Oh, our vehicle got hit there by an IED. Incredibly, the water tower is still up. We're going to drop our men off here. Uh, and it seems like the village is suddenly not so friendly. <laughs> okay, there we go. We found uh, an IED. Seems to have improved the relations, kind of. But they're not giving us any sort of information we could use to locate the enemy. And I'm actually going to take our Panama, and the first thing I'm going to do is search the rest of this village. Because I get the feeling they're going to try to mine this whole area. Uh, to wipe out 
that vehicle completely. I don't want that to happen. And I'm surprised. We've done so much for that village. How could they turn on us? What? Again? They need our help, bro. Let's, let's head back out. All right. Sure enough, they're getting us the location of a Taliban unit, guys. You better bet we're going to call in an airstrike if we can afford it. Let's go for it. Boom. 650 down. Our first kill on the Taliban in this uh, region. Definitely can let the media know about that. Uh, that's beautiful. So we're not going to have to worry about them. And obviously the people are going to be a little happier uh, since they know we're going to follow up with our building proposals. Oh, once again, hitting an IED there. The MRAP did save us. Excuse me, not the MRAP. The Warthog did save us, but obviously took some pretty nasty damage. I want to go ahead and drop these boys off here at this village. New intel incoming. Militia in the area. There is a militia unit right there. Um, you know, unfortunately, we can't attack him with uh, an air unit, but I'm actually going to send our Royal Marines out for a ground attack, guys. I don't usually do this, but I think this time calls for it. Amazing job by the Royal Marines there, taking out that unit. I mean, not many units can do it, so we know these guys uh, have got it in them, and of course it's going to give them a little rank up. So good job, boys. Might even send this uh, chopper back and leave those Royal Marines in this area to keep them supplied by the air. So they're going to basically just kind of hold the area down. I don't think that's a bad idea at all. It's going to get a Royal Marine unit, and I want to get another Panama, but I don't think we can really afford it. So I'm going to use the Jackal um, to pick up this Royal Marine unit and maybe even start uh, another another roadblock here before this village. I don't like this huge open country. It's pretty creepy. All right, folks. Uh, we'll end there. Again, hoping that we find some more bombs at these roadblocks. Oh, that's right. Thank you, game. So we're still bringing uh, this unit across. And it's actually a good idea just to check for IEDs in the area. The time of the national elections have, has arrived, guys. And essentially what we have to do here is decide which is the least bad um, um, actual candidate. And I guess in most cases in elections, that's what things are like. But we don't generally get a great choice here. Um, Intel from Village is going to go 10% if we keep Abdo in power. Basically, things will stay the same. If we put um, Yudunis, uh, excuse me, Yunus Hashem in power, uh, we're not going to get as much foreign aid. However, fundamentalism is going to go down, so the Taliban presence will go down. And the Taliban units are much stronger than the average militia units. Uh, also, PP cost per move is going to lower. But I I'd actually, you know what, I just want to vote for Walid. Um, just keep the same president. I don't like him, but... I think he's the best right now for Afghanistan. And let's move these guys in immediately. What's this? Do we have to keep the uh, the roadblock staffed as well? Interesting. All right, I didn't know that. So let's go ahead and drop some supplies for the... We could have just brought this in on a supply truck, but I decided to be fancy about it. There we go. Cool. So they've got some more bomb uh, deactivation supplies, I guess. We want to land immediately with this unit. Okay. What else? I think we're good for the, with the Warthog. Just want to get out of here. Ooh. Hit another IED. He's going to have to get back to base uh, to fix that vehicle. Oh my goodness. How did they get past? Guys, that was your job. You're supposed to stop that. All right, well, apparently they got past our guys. I thought they were going to be able to stop the enemy there, but apparently not, man. That's a, not a great job by our boys. I must say I'm a little disappointed. The one thing I want to do is get a supply truck. Start delivering UN supplies immediately to that village. We've done so much for them, and yet they repay us with bombs. Get some more UN aid on this one as well. And hopefully start sending these out very soon. Uh, we'll also get that Royal Marine unit on the next chopper out to start searching for Taliban in the mountains. We're on the move. 
There we go. Look at all those IEDs, guys. One, two, three, four, five IEDs that we just deactivated. So the Panama is absolutely doing its job. And now we're up to 1,500 points, which isn't bad at all. I mean, it's unfortunately, um, you know, it's it's not going to be enough for us to get an Apache and, and be completely safe. But it's a start. I think it's a decent start. And I'm actually going to go ahead and put one of the roadblocks here. And we'll drop off some units in the bill. Roger that. Whoa! I didn't want to do that. What in the... Roger that. Just, let's just keep that here for now. We're on the move. And uh, worry about the troops later. We're on the move. All right, guys, ending the turn. New intel incoming. IED detected. Ooh, an IED exploded at the roadblock. Unbelievable. Okay, guys, uh, and for the supply truck, I'm guessing let's make sure that we need this certain kind of supply. Yep. One thing I want to do, though, is get that um, that Panama to check the front here. We're not going to be able to check everything, unfortunately. Ooh, congratulations. Looks like somebody redeemed something. Well done. And we also need to get reinforcements to this unit. Okay, let's go ahead and get the supply truck moving. Looks like we got some supplies to this unit, but not completely. And I want to make sure that that roadblock is consistently staffed, so I am going to bring in the AC-130s. Emergency supplies deployed. Got to do what you got to do. I'm more concerned about this unit right here. And what I think we can do here is get the Westland Lynx uh, to pick up some rations here. And hopefully drop them off to those units... Actually, probably just bring them home as soon as possible. I don't think there's any point in keeping them out here in the, in the uh, mountains. If these were special forces, uh, we would, but in this case, they're not. So they're really not going to do much out here. All right, delivering some UN aid. Come on, guys. We're trying to help. And they also need some assistance, so we want to get to that village as soon as possible. Uh, when they're calling for assistance, you got to get out there. We're going to go ahead and get another Royal Marine unit. Uh, we'll load him up into this Warthog. Let's make sure he's actually loaded up into the Warthog. There we go. And I'm going to try to drop him off at least close to the village. So we can't get there this turn, but we'll get there next turn for sure. I'd love to bring some more UNA, but I'm not sure if we can deliver it twice in one turn to the same Ville. Well, we're about to find out. If not, we could also deliver it to this Ville, although that doesn't seem very safe. We'll try nonetheless. Here we go. Well, the UN can worry about that one. Of course, we're still going to be um, penalized for it, but it's the cost of war. Okay, we're going to move this guy down. There we go, another IED detected. They have so many in this area all over the place. Alright, we've got some major uh, traffic moving through this area. And up here, it doesn't seem like there's much. Roger that. New intel incoming. Interesting, we already found an IED detected here. We'll go ahead and bring in the Panama. Look at all that. I mean, there's a lot more IEDs. I'm not sure if that's intentional with the new update, but I'm absolutely spotting more IEDs all over the place. Uh, instead of just a few here and there, we're getting, like, strings of them, which which is much more realistic. And I'm actually going to head up north with this guy. Make sure these guys are safe. Let's head into the Ville. Oh, boy. Right, there's definitely an IED out there, um, and if, if we get this infantry unit out of this village, we can actually sweep with the infantry unit for IEDs. Not the most effective way of uh, finding them, but it's definitely one of the ways. Roger that. 
trying to see if there are any sort of uh, villages asking for help. And we would see smoke emanating from the village if they are. Looks like things are pretty calm for the most part. Um, so we'll head back to base. And at this point, we want to pick up those Royal Marines. Uh, not the Royal Marines, excuse me, the SAS. And uh, put them somewhere over here on these mountains on the east. We don't know exactly where the Taliban are spawning from. But in this game, they almost always are spawning from some sort of mountain uh, region. Basically um, showing how... Uh, you know, many insurgents from Pakistan will just simply cross the mountains into Afghanistan to assist in the insurgency. Okay. Things are looking pretty good right now. That can change very quickly.